Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon. I'm an entertainer here at IT Pro TV, and I'm your host for this series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at apps and how apps can be integrated into Teams to make you more productive. Join me here, if you will. We're going to take a look at Teams. Now, I've zoomed out Teams compared to where we normally started at so that we can get a better view of how we add apps. And I'm going to explain why that's important as we get started, because if you're too zoomed in, if you have your magnification up a little bit high so you can see things more clearly and they're a little bigger, you actually miss some of the buttons and some of the dialogue boxes, and we can't get to them, believe it or not. And as a result, you may not be able to actually add the application, even though you think you are. So I've zoomed out to about 75%. Normally in all the episodes, I've been at 100% in terms of the magnification in Teams. And the way I did that, by the way, just in case you're interested, is I've come up here to my profile icon, and one of the things I have right here is my zoom capability for the actual application. And you'll see it's currently set to 70%, and plus and minus allow me to manipulate that as needed. All right, so you can zoom in or zoom out, but if you try this and you can't see the button at the lower right corner of the screen, you're zoomed in too far, zoom back out, try it again, you'll be able to see it. Now, I've come over here to our navigation area, and I've clicked on the apps icon in my navigation bar, and that brings me to the application area where I can search for applications that are available. However, there's a caveat. Number one, in your organization, your IT team and the people that control teams behind the scene may or may not allow, allow you and make available for you the ability to add apps. In other words, they may control what apps are made available, and they may add them to everybody's profile and add them to everybody's teams and channels for you, in which case you may go here and not see anything at all because you may not have permissions to. So if you try this and it doesn't work, then that's probably what's going on. You may also come here and only see a small subset of apps that are available because, again, they may be filtering what apps are available and only allowing you to see certain ones. So just keep that in mind as we talk about this. Your results may vary, in other words. But we do have a categorical search area. We could search by any and all categories. And apps are listed in various subcategories. I'm in the productivity category right now, as you can see right over here. And these are all apps that are available that are going to help me, theoretically, to be more productive. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use Smart Sheets as our example app. I'm going to click on the tile. And when I do that, I'm going to get a little representation of it here. Whatever's on this page may vary by app. Some have videos from YouTube embedded in them to show you what the app is and how it works. Some may not. Some will have, uh, actually all should at a minimum, have some sort of description of the app. And you could see that as we kind of scroll down here, uh, showing you what the app is, what it does, and most importantly, the permissions associated with using the app. And then I have the ability to add and to add to a team. And you can see here, if I choose add to a team, then as I zoom out, I have to do that. But the button I was talking about that you're not going to see if you're at 100% in the Teams app itself is right here. It's going to be at the lower right-hand corner of the Teams app, and you're not going to see it because you're zoomed in. And when you go to scroll, this window disappears, and you just have trouble adding the app. So that is a frustration I want you to avoid by zooming out and seeing it. So I'm going to add the name of a team here, and I'm going to zoom in so you could see me do that. I'm going to start typing my name, Adam, and sure enough, I see any and all teams that have the word Adam in them somewhere, and I could choose the appropriate one. I'm going to choose the Adam is cool team. Team name is on the bottom. Channel uh, in the team is on the top. This is the general channel in the Adam is cool team. So I'm going to click that. You'll notice when I do that, that setup button becomes active, and I have to be able to click it for this to actually work. And I can pull down here, and I have an option to set up a tab or set up a bot. So we're going to choose to set up a tab. Okay, so I've clicked that, and... That's doing its thing, by the way. That graying out, going away, coming back means that's happening. And you'll notice here, as is the case with most apps, that I have to have a license to use it. I have to have an account to use it. I don't have one for Smartsheet. We're not going to log in. Not important. But I do have to be able to either already have a log on or I have to sign up if there's a perhaps free account I can use in a limited way. And I have to connect the app, in other words, with authorized credentials, usage, billing, et cetera, 
into Teams. This is why I suggested to you that your IT group and or the administrators may or may not allow you to add apps because you may not have the ability to set them up correctly, and they only may allow you access to certain apps that the company licenses and has the ability to connect and configure. And so again, results will vary, but you could see that I can set up any of the apps in theory if I have the right credentials and or the right capabilities. So if we zoom out here and just close this because we're not gonna actually add the app in, that's how we would do that. Now, the other thing that I wanna show you, and I'm gonna zoom to a bigger zoom factor here so you can see this a little more clearly back to 100%. I'm gonna zoom in on my navigation area and I'm gonna to go to the ellipsis, the three dots horizontally showing us, in this case, that there are added apps that are available that I may not be seeing in this area because we just don't have enough room to put them all in. Polly is one of the apps that's already been added. That's my survey app. But if I click here, there are other apps that are available. I'm just not seeing them. Smart Sheets is there. Just added that even though we haven't finished configuring it. I have a Wiki app. I have the Shifts app, Planner, OneNote. So maybe I want to go to OneNote. I can click there. You'll see OneNote has been added to my navigation bar. It is setting up so I can begin to use it the first time I invoke it, it will show up. And then I may have some information I have to become aware of, a little overview or whatever the case may be. I'm just gonna skip out of that and I can get right into OneNote and start using it. And if I decide that I'm done, I will just close that little notification area, go over here to chat, do what I have to do. And then you'll notice that the OneNote icon disappears, it no longer stays in there, but it is still here. I just have to go and click on the More option in the ellipsis to find it. And so you can see that I'm easily able to navigate back and forth. And also, by the way, right from down here at the lower right-hand corner, if I click More Apps, I get right back to that app search area, the marketplace for all the apps that we started with, and I can find them all right here. Using apps is a great way to add productivity capability and depth to the Microsoft Teams experience, but it is gonna be really conditional on your ability to bring those apps in, configure them, license them, and use them appropriately. So I suggest you consult with your IT group or your team manager to understand what rights and what capabilities you may have to do so. I'll be back with more episodes as we continue our series, but until then, happy teaming. Check out the playlist for more Microsoft Teams tips and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon, and thanks for watching.